My name is Jacqueline Novogratz, and I'm the founder and CEO of Acumen Fund. Acumen Fund is a nonprofit venture fund uh, for the poor. Essentially, we are trying to help build a world beyond poverty by investing what we call patient capital. And that means raising philanthropic money that we don't give away as handouts, but rather invest in entrepreneurs that are looking to go where both the markets have failed and government have failed to provide basic goods and services to low-income people. Water, healthcare, housing, alternative energy, agricultural inputs. We've invested about $70 million in 65 companies in South Asia and Africa and have seen all different kinds of companies like a long-lasting malaria bed net company in Arusha, Tanzania that now employs about 8,000 people, mostly low-income women, or um, an ambulance company in India where we invested when they had 10 ambulances and today that company has 650 ambulances. I was in the class of 1991 at the Graduate School of Business at Stanford. I also was a member of the Public Management Program. By the time I got to Stanford, I knew that I wanted to be part of what was then an emerging movement, if you will, of using business and the tools of the market to create change. The biggest gift that Stanford gave to me is that ideas are are so important, they matter, institutions endure, that we need to take on societal problems through a combination of the public sector and the private sector, and that innovation is something that continues throughout your life or both systems and people die. And so my life is completely different because I came to Stanford. What's interesting about Stanford is that the experience in some ways starts anew once you leave and particularly through the public management program at the Graduate School of Business, there's a, a whole group of alumni that are architecting some of the significant social sector institutions that you see in this country and around the world. And through that, there's a real ecosystem of Stanford graduates that are there to help each other in a more collaborative marketplace. What Stanford could bring to New York would be this focus on innovation, this focus on social entrepreneurship. Stanford would bring that kind of West Coast orientation connected to Asia and, and a different part of the world in a way that could be very complementary to the extraordinary institutions that already exist in New York. <laughs>